As the bit drills, it wears out and then the drill string has to be pulled out to put in a new bit. Changing of the bit involves pulling out the entire string and running it back in after replacing the bit. The process of pulling out and running in is called tripping in and out, or a round trip. To trip out, the crew sets the slips in the rotary table and breaks out the kelly. The driller then sets the kelly back into the rat hole. The kelly, kelly bushing, swivel, and attached rotary hose are stored in the rat hole while tripping. Attached to the bottom of the hook on the traveling block are the clamps called elevators. After the kelly has been set in the rat hole, a rough neck closes the elevators around the tool joint of the pipe resting in the slips. The driller then raises the traveling block, thus raising the elevators and pipe. After this, the floor men remove the slips. As the top of the pipe reaches the derrick man's position on the monkey board, he unlatches the elevators, grabs the pipe, and moves it back into the rack or fingerboard. The fingerboard, as the name implies, has a number of metal fingers sticking out to form several slots in which the top of the pipe is placed. As the derrick man handles the top of the stand, the roughnecks on the rig floor break out the pipe and carefully swing the lower end of it off to one side and rest the bottom in the pipe setback area. The drill pipe is pulled out stand by stand, which means three joints at a time. This saves much time on the trip. When the bit reaches the surface, the floor men change the bit. Tripping out is also known as pulling out of hole. After the bit has been changed, the entire drill string has to be put into the hole again. This is known as running into hole. To run into hole, the entire process of pulling out of hole is reversed.